Welcome to our demonstration of the OpenSearch Assistant Toolkit. For this demonstration, we're using the OpenTelemetry Astronomy Shop, a microservice-based system illustrating OpenTelemetry's real-world capabilities. The OpenTelemetry demo website uses an industry-standard pipeline for generating activity traces, logs, and metrics that we can use to observe how the site is performing. We're going to use that data to show you the kinds of tools developers can build with the OpenSearch Assistant Toolkit. I can view products, shop, and place an order. I add this telescope to my cart and complete the transaction. This generates traces and logs that correspond with this order. I launch OpenSearch dashboards, the user interface that lets you visualize data in OpenSearch. Here, dashboards and services graphs are helping us monitor traces and logs from the OpenTelemetry demo site. We can review access logs data arriving from the Nginx web proxy. Each interaction with the demo site creates trace data. These traces represent how each microservice is connected, as you can see in this trace analytics view. We have a table of services and a service map showing how each service is connected, as well as trace groups that display similar traces together and show how trace error rates change over time. We can also view each trace and its corresponding metrics. This dashboard was created with the Open Search Assistant an open source toolkit designed to provide developers with flexible and customizable tools for building generative AI experiences. This dashboard lets us view the access and error logs from the OpenTelemetry demo site. We're alerted about slow load times on the checkout cart for customers. Let's ask our assistant what's going on. I'm asking the assistant to check for any recent issues causing slow load. What I get is an explanation that initial analysis shows a significant spike in load times and error rates for the checkout service, corresponding with the onset of a major shopping event. This suggests a potential overload or configuration issue. Based on that response, I want to take a deeper look at our checkout service, so I'll follow up with another question. I ask the assistant to show me the top metrics for the checkout service. Examining the checkout service metrics reveals increased response times and timeout errors, suggesting a bottleneck in back-end or database interactions. I'd like to be able to visualize these metrics to better understand where response times are spiking. A visualization of these metrics shows spikes in load times and error rates, especially in server response times during peak traffic. That raises a follow-up question. I want to know if these spikes are correlated with any specific events or metrics. What we learn is that there's a correlation between increased service response times and database queries. The assistant suggests this is likely a result of either inefficient query handling or database performance issues. Let's see if we can dig deeper. What are the exemplars and trace IDs associated with these spikes? The assistant returns trace IDs that indicate high response times. With that information, we can search for that trace ID. And what we see is that the latency for that trace is very high at 20 seconds. We also see several errors. I can also reference the payload for this trace and view the connected services. This is the information we need to troubleshoot the latency and high error rates we're experiencing. Looking at other traces, I can see similar issues. Let's find out what services are connected to these high latency traces. By tracing high latency transactions, we can identify key services involved, payment processing and inventory management, indicating potential failure points. Let's search for errors in the logs of these services at the times when latency is spiking. Service log analysis reveals errors in payment processing, mainly timeouts and database connectivity issues clustered around latency spikes. I can use the Query Assistant to query SSO and Genix access logs. I ask the Assistant to show me logs with 500 status codes in the past three hours. The Assistant generates a list of documents and provides an AI-assisted summarization. I can also ask for a summarization using the chat interface. The response notes that error patterns suggest database connection pooling issues, with concurrent connections frequently exceeding thresholds. With this information, let's see if we can get to the root cause. According to the assistant, the root cause is likely recent changes in database connection pool settings. There's a related internal ticket that provides insights for resolution. With my root cause determined, I can move to resolve our demo site's latency issues. 
If I want to view my chat in full screen or look at the conversation history, I can easily access saved chats by clicking on the title. This has been a demonstration of the kinds of tools developers can create with the OpenSearch Assistant Toolkit. Thank you for watching. To learn more about the OpenSearch Assistant, please check out the GitHub repo or explore the Query Assistant on the OpenSearch Playground.